Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bold analysis. Eric Omonde um, recently spearheaded a dummy protest along the Parliament Road. And then a day later, that was on 20th of February, Raila Dinga gave seven days ultimatum, 14 days ultimatum, to President William Ruto to address some irreducible minimums, failure to which he would call for mass action. He did not give a date. Today, and of course, people have been trying to, to link the two, or rather they link the two uh, activities, even though we saw later on Raila Dinga defending Eric after they were arrested. Today, Eric Komondi has released another video and is making revelations against about what is his next course, trying to talk about what is in store for them. I want you to listen to his statement here. Hi guys, Eric Omondi here. By now we all know what's going on in this country. The cost of living is skyrocketing every single day. Families are going without food. Houses have been locked and kids are out of school. We went to parliament to talk to the speaker of the National Assembly and we were kicked, slapped and even uh, cuffed and thrown into police cells. So we have nowhere else to turn. We have no one else to turn to but the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Dr. Samoy Ruto. I'm calling upon every Kenyan who's unemployed but has a CV. I'm calling upon every parent whose children are at home because of school fees. Get your CV. Get that school fee structure. Let us meet at Uhuru Park on the 7th of March, Tuesday. And then we will walk peacefully to State House. Because I know that the president of this country has the best interest of this country at heart. And I have a feeling, as I've said numerous times, that the president has not been informed of the serious situation on the ground. I have a feeling that the president does not know of the suffering of people. So we'll walk to State House with our CVs. We'll walk to State House with our school structures, our fee structures. We'll walk to State House with our electricity bills. We'll walk to State House with our rent areas. And we'll present this to the President on Tuesday the 7th. Now, before we march to State House, I'm calling upon every Kenyan who intends to march with us to State House. Let us meet at City Stadium and come for a packet of unga because you need that energy to work. Come, we'll give you a packet of unga. You go back home, you cook ugali, and get the strength to walk to State House to present our papers to the president. I, there's some things that Eric Komoti is saying there that I want to tell you should not be taken lightly and they should actually be a point of concern to William Samuel Ruto. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you're watching for the first time. I want to say thank you very much for those who are subscribing and helping us push the brand. We are at 43,000 subscribers. I want to say thank you very much. And I've also realized those who are interested in adverts, yeah, you can also reach out to me. I decided to drop the other advert. And of course, I'm still welcoming and I hope that in due course, we are going to have others. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Omondi is talking about something there. And I need to say this, that uh, the next phase of Azimio activities is the make or break. And Ray Lodinga yesterday was in Kibera and I spoke to some women there, a woman there who was telling me, Nilimuliza, so you will, go, you will go to the mass action? He told me yes. Then I asked her, you don't fear the police? And she told me that, Mimi Sijali, there's a senior option. If I will die, watch when you watabaki, watabaki. How is it to who are water? You know, and it's not a big deal to them. So I want to say that the fear strategy, I, I don't think it works when you say, when you talk tough, you try to threaten and say this, that doesn't work because the population is, 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 is tolerant, you know, let me say, they are hardened already. And so they were saying, we will go. You know, Raila Dinga is one politician in this country that has suicidal 
support us. And I remember Tolly once saying that this is the man who someone will say, I'm going to die for. No politician in this country have that kind of fanatical support. Akuna. The statement of when Baba says right, right, when Baba says left, left. No other politician has that. We, we have to put it at it is. No other politician have that. And they will get out. What I can tell President Uri is that they're going to get out. As we talk to people on the ground, and that's it. There's no other way to sugarcoat it. But why do you think this should be a word to the President Uri? Because for me, I'm looking at it this way. With what Eric is saying, that come to come to rather come to city study, I mean, take Unga so that to cool in the wind, it's a mass, it is a massive mobilization that is going on, and there is mobilization going on behind the scene because I don't be a kuja, and let me, I don't want to, I want to delink them, but this is it. Huh? There could be, someone might want to be persuaded that what Raila is doing is different from what Eric is saying. Of course, I don't want to compare them. But the truth here is, the demands, or rather what people are talking about, is one and the same thing. The only difference is that Raila is talking about electoral justice. But Eric Komod is talking about the cost of living. And the Zemio team are also speaking about the cost of living. So, the same people that will turn up, to attend the Eric Omondi's, uh, take Unga from Eric Omondi's event, are the same people that maybe, it is the same population that has been affected. So, and again, compare 14 is, okay, calculate, okay, pick up Vizuri, 14 days from the day Rela made that announcement will be on 7th or 8th. So what do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? It's Zina Zikopo. So I think, uh, that's why I'm, I'm telling you, it, it points out some mobilization behind the scene. And President Tuto is a student of his own experience. And he should learn very well that even in his presidential bid, there are those who coalesced around him and were supporting him because they were anti Uhuru Kenyatta. The same, the same reason here is there are also who are on him, around him, because they feel they've been pushed out. There are those who are away from him because they've been pushed out. So you need to ask yourself, these who have been, this team who have been pushed out, where are they? What's going on? We have a culture of winner takes all, and it's our biggest problem. I'm speaking about what Eric Komondi's statements can also tell you is their deep interests in the mass actions. Very deep interest. And that's it. President Tutu have a million enemies. Leave alone trying to create what politician will say that the enemy is, is population. It's not just only the population. It's also people who are feeling aggrieved. And I wish he actually acknowledges that because you got, just ask yourself a simple question. Do you want to tell me that if Eric is going to give people hunger, he's going to pay from his pocket? I know it's a question that no one wants to talk about. But ask yourself that question. Do you want to tell me Eric going to pay that money from his pocket? No. Someone is going to buy it. And let me ask you. The last time they were arrested and they were in uh, there and they were given those unconditional bail, they were released. Each one of them was released on 10,000 police bail. I think, uh, is it cash bail or something? So who paid that money? You want to tell me no. So what am I saying? That behind the scene, this thing is deep than what we are actually handling here. It's deep. It, there are a lot of you know, dots that you can join and come up with a pattern and, and read that pattern as one letter known as deep interest. It's, it's, it's that much. So uh, I think the mass action thing need not to be taken lightly. Now, I am seeing this one. The call for unemployed graduates, those who don't have job to print their CVs and go. You know, for me, it's imagery. I think the, 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 the CVs are imagery. It's an imagery of unemployment. And how many, ask yourself, 
how many youths are unemployed? Not even youths. How many graduates are unemployed? When you just take a walk in Uhuru Park, walk to Uhuru Park, just go there and go there and We are churning out graduates yearly. In their thousands, the 50,000s and so. And the job market is not here in for them. So most of them are also part of it. Now, when you create that demographic, and the reason why it should worry really about it is uh, the different demographics that are now getting involved, they are now called into action. You know you've called students. This one you've talked about unemployed graduates. On the other end, Babu Wino is talking about help. Today, there was a protest. Kisumu Polytechnic were protesting, demonstrating about the high cost, the fee increment. Kisumu Polytechnic. You know, so the different demographics that are now getting introduced. There is, I think there was another one by Donald some doctors unit, some, some, some few units. So what's, what is at stake here? The parents going to go because the children or their kids cannot go to school. The demographics that are getting introduced will now boost even the turn up. The other last thing here is, with Eric leading in front, the youths are getting involved, either offline or online. Now, the conversation that they work can also be won in the social media, the propaganda spaces. Now, with Eric in front, he's trying to, his presence is activating that community. There is some passive community in social media that they may not turn up and go to protest, but they also take the conversation to the other level, don't they? So with that, I, I want to believe uh, there is more than what we might be dealing with. It's just Raila, what's of living this, but it's more than this. So that's my take.